Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of the feather brushes that I have offered here. These will be available to you. Um, I created these to create a more realistic looking or more believable looking uh, feather when, when I'm painting. I've used this in a few paintings quite successfully. So, let's go down to the brushes. Um, first thing, I have these brushes set to rotate. I have uh, one of the styluses that have the rotate feature, so I can rotate this and it'll go wherever I want it to. See, change my color. Um, if you don't have the rotate feature, all you have to do is go to brush, go to shape dynamics under angle jitter you want to change this from rotation to direction and then get that out of the way whatever direction you draw in is what, where they'll go that seems a bit of a scatter to it, you might want to make some other adjustments to get it the way you like it or depending on your stroke you might get something that you're happy with it's actually pretty cool, I might keep that Okay. now what I have here is a uh, I've mapped out the three tiers that uh, bird feathers generally fall in it's a uh, bottom, middle, upper so if you look here I'm using the bird wing forearm bottom. This is the forearm. This is the upper arm. It's according to how I have it mapped out with the brushes. So here's the forearm, forearm bottom feathers here. Um, the forearm middle would be these. Sometimes they might be a little too big. You can change the size. Now these wings here tend to tend to hinge off of this joint right here. So as it goes out this way, they're gonna turn. And then for the top, there's normally like a nice little fine feathered texture. This is kind of quick and loose, but just to give you guys an idea. the tip would go here depending on the bird it might come out birds of prey normally come out this way and have a bigger feather while I had to do a pigeon the feather was much smaller and it was more in we'll make this a bird of prey not that big, about there make it a little darker okay. a more texture in there Now, these aren't going to do all of the work for you. I mean, you've got to go in, you've got to layer, you've got to pull in and, and, and put in and pull out more details as you go. Um, but it, it creates a nice start, a nice jumping point. Upper arm bottom. We'll go on this bottom tier here. These aren't going to hinge so much off of this joint, they're just going to kind of drape along the direction of the wing. A little more. But by layering, see like I could go in here and I could, I could spray in another layer of color maybe to fade some of this detail if I feel it's too much and then put another layer in. Maybe up the middle with this feather here. Uh, 
actually have two different feathers for the middle on the upper arm. And I might throw a few more of these in here. And there's some texture for the upper arm. You can start to see how that texture is building and, and creating a different contrast and shapes. Um, I can go in with my airbrush. This is one of my my basic brushes, which you, is available in, in a brush set here as well. There's also a video on that. I can start to reinforce certain areas. I should also point out that all these brushes are made for the right wing. So if you want to make them for, if you want to do paint the, the left wings, you'll have to go to uh, image, image rotation, flip cams as horizontal, and then you can apply these to the left wing as well. It'll be the right wing at that point in time, and then when you're done, just flip it back. See, and that starts to give you a really believable feather texture. So, um, there you have it. Um, I'll show you, like I said, this was quick and dirty. Um, I'll show you one of the finished pieces that I've done with it. This is a pigeon that I did with, uh, with this brush set. Um, these tail feathers are actually the, uh, the upper arm bottom feathers. Um, for the pigeon, I, I didn't see a need to, to use those for the, uh, the bottom of the upper arm. I just took the uh, the forearm feathers all the way to the bottom. So you can use them in different combinations and, and, and achieve different looks for different feathers. This right in here um, is actually a fur brush that I got from somewhere. Um, it seemed to work for that texture that pigeons have better than the than the the feather brushes did. But this is obviously much more finished. Uh, a lot more time spent on it. Um, but this is this is what you can achieve, or it looks like this is what you can achieve with these brushes. So uh, I hope you guys download them, uh, play with them, have fun, and uh, if you have any more questions on them uh, or you get stuck, feel free to message me, ask me any questions. Okay? Thanks a lot, guys.